Hey guys, Jeff here. We're here to talk about foam rolling. Foam rolling is very important in preventing injuries and correcting injuries. Um, a lot of the times in our daily lives, we get hurt, you know, and that just happens. And it's really important to stretch your muscles out. I know we're all lazy and we decide that that's not important, but we really got to start focusing on that. I recommend foam rolling every day, twice a day, you know, before workouts, after workouts. It's basically like getting a massage, but doing it to yourself, self-myofascial release. You've just read an article about it, about why it's so important, and I'm going to show you how to do a few of the basic exercises. I have two foam rollers here. I have a white one and a black one. The only difference is one is a little more dense. Basically, you're going to get more of a stretch on your muscles. So if you're a beginner, I recommend using one of the white ones. If you're a little more advanced, black ones. Now, they come in different sizes and lengths. You know what? Actually, I'd probably recommend the smaller ones. A little easier to manipulate. But otherwise, the black one works great as well. So I'm using the black one for today. Very first one, we're going to do a calf. So, a couple options here is you could go ahead and do two legs together. All right? Now you got both all your weight dispersed on two legs, so it's not going to be as painful. Now, see, for me, I'm not really feeling this too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross one leg over the top. Now, I'm feeling a lot of pressure in my calf muscle. Okay, so I'm very, very slowly up and down the calf, looking for places that hurt. If I find a place that hurts, I'm going to stop on it between 30 and 60 seconds. The pain will go away a little bit, so if you're in pain, it will go away. Okay, very slowly finding other spots until I'm going to go to the other calf. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. The next one is going to be for your quad. Quad is one of your big muscles in your legs that get sore. So let's roll it out. Now, once again, you can start on two legs in a plank position, rolling up and down your quads. But from once again, for me, I don't really feel too much pain, so I'm going to do one leg. So I'm here, side of the foam roller, down in that plank position, other leg forward just to control myself. I'm going to roll very slowly up and down my quad, looking for places where I feel pain. Okay, remember 30 seconds, 10 minutes. And you do the same thing on the other side. The last one I'm going to show you today is your IT band. Your IT band is a band that goes between your knee and your hip. And usually we hurt this one a lot. If you have knee pain, it's a pretty good chance your IT band is causing it. So let's show you how to stretch that one out. Down here, I would call side plank position. Your left leg, the one's underneath, straight. And you're down in your side plank position. Your right leg's over top. Basically, very slowly, going up and down the side of your leg, looking for those spots that are painful. Okay, you can move your other foot just to adjust for comfort. You go down about three inches to your knee, back up almost to your hip. Make sure you don't roll over your knee because that's not good. Your knee doesn't like being bent that way. Okay, 30 seconds to a minute each spot, looking for spots that are a little tight, like that spot for me, and you do your other leg. So that's foam rolling. Remember, every day, okay, I know you guys don't want to and you're lazy and you think this is important, but it's extremely important. What's the point of working out if you're going to have injuries and have to stop working out every day or weeks and months because you're hurt? So prevent that. Foam rolling. Highly recommend. Do it now.